What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Prince U rack on the Tacoma. If you guys have a Tacoma, I would highly suggest purchasing from them. It's one of the best racks I've ever seen on any Tacoma, whether it's a second gen, third gen, doesn't matter. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to exactly install it. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to install it. And I'm gonna be showing you the tools. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you some cool little cinematic shots. So let's go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you how it's done. All right guys, so this is what you guys are gonna need. I'm gonna be using a drill just to make my install life a little bit easier. Go ahead and need a star bit. You're also gonna need a Phillips head. You need a size 10 socket with a wrench of course. This is an option, but I seriously would highly recommend it. It's only like three, four bucks at Lowe's. You're gonna need some silicone. You're gonna see why, but like I said, you're gonna highly want this. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the unboxing of what's inside. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right you guys, so this is everything straight out of the box when you purchase the Prince 2 rack. You're gonna receive six of these black bars, one of these silver ones, which is for the windscreen, a left and a right side of these bars. As far as that rubber mounting there, that's just for uh, reducing wind noise. That you do have to purchase separately. So what's included is all the hardware. So these here are gonna be the spacers for the actual roof rack. This here is gonna be the screws for the crossbars. And this here is gonna be the hardware for the wind deflector. So if you wanna go ahead and install these for the tie downs if you have anything on top. All right, so basically right now we're just gonna be assembling the roof rack. So you wanna go ahead and get your left and your right side of the actual rack. And you wanna make sure that these tabs here are pointed in the in direction because this is where the bolts are going to bolt down to the truck. You do want to do this on a flat surface. You don't want to try to attempt this on doing it on the truck. Right now I'm going to go ahead and get the crossbars and lay them out. So when you lay out your crossbars with the side rail, make sure that you have these openings facing up. So that way if you want to mount anything after it's on your roof, you'll have to take apart the crossbars. If you order the load panels from Prinsu, you are going to have to move, remove these so you can slide in the actual panels because they, they slide into the channel. You can't just push them in. And um, this will allow you to put like T-nuts or anything like that if you want to hard mount any rifle cases, anything after like that. Another key note as well, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure you measure these out. I don't have a sunroof on my truck, so I can kind of lay them out just evenly. But if you do have a sunroof on your truck, you do want to go ahead and measure your sunroof and just kind of line up the bars uh, to where it would be. You can use all of them. You can just use four on this side and the one up front. So you guys already know Chris uh, in many of my other videos. Uh, he's gonna also be helping us out on this install. Uh, we are trying to do it as detailed as possible. So up next, now that we've lined up the rails kind of where we want them, we're gonna be getting our screws and we're gonna screw everything in so that way we have our base. So these right here are gonna be for the actual tabs to bolt it onto your roof, the wind deflector. They have, they are, they're all labeled when you actually order your print suit. These will be for the windscreen and these are going to be for mounting the crossbars on the side rails. These are additional if you need them or not. You don't necessarily need to install these. So as far as right now, we're going to be using the ones for the crossbars since we are on that step. We're just going to go ahead and take all these out right now. It is labeled for the crossbars. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. I know I repeated it like 30 times. There's lock washers, washers, and of course the screws. So it's gonna be bolt, lock washer, and then washer. To do that on all of these. All right, so now we assembled all the screws. Those are gonna be for the crossbars, as you could tell. We're gonna go ahead and give you some side notes right now, but before I do so, I just wanna show you how it mounts on. So you're gonna need two of these screws for each side of the rails. Once you've inserted the two screws, this is essentially how it's gonna look. So the note that we're gonna leave you with is these tabs that are facing inward, make sure when you're bolting them, you want the crossbars to the side just temporarily in case you're gonna use these little slots to mount them permanently. Basically because if you don't pay attention to that, what's gonna happen is if you mount it, it's gonna be right above it and you won't be able to basically tighten down the actual mounting bolts through here. So we're just giving you this tip to make your guys' life easier. You'll see what we mean once we have everything on. Tell 
now the one way in the back it's slanted sideways the only reason I have that done that way is because my antenna is back there and if I put it the correct straight way like these it won't fit on correctly just another pro tip now that we have this constructed we're gonna go ahead and move on to the windscreen all right we're gonna go ahead and get started and install the windscreen uh, we did get the windscreen baggy, so that's what all these screws that you see here. You're going to notice there's two holes going all across. So we just grabbed the baggy that says it's for the windscreen, and these are all the screws that are inside. So you're going to need two, of course, for each hole. You want to just make sure that you have the logo in the correct position. So it is going to go like this, as you can tell. You do not want to have this backwards or sideways or anything like that. One, it might not fit, and two, it's going to look pretty bad. Uh, you want to make sure it's correct. So print two is on the right passenger side. You want to go ahead and get your T-slots, all of these, and we're going to go ahead and slide these in. What helps is getting maybe a little screwdriver, or a little flat one, just kind of putting it in there and then you can slide it just like that. Slide it just like that. You want to kind of align it with the holes here uh, because this is going to be the backing to this. What we did was slide this to this just to kind of see where the mounting points are going to be. Just align them, it'll make it a lot easier. As you can tell, we did it with all of them. So now we're gonna go ahead and mount this. Now all we did was just put the windscreen on top of the chrome crossbar. Now you're gonna go ahead and get the screws that are provided. It's gonna be screw, lock washer, washer. That's gonna be of course for all of them. we mounted the crossbar onto the windscreen you do want to make sure you have everything lined up correctly once you do you want to go ahead and get a Phillips head and just torque all these screws down done now that I've torqued everything down you want to go ahead and get your windscreen of course this is only if you purchased it I highly do recommend getting it it's super cheap if you do get it you're gonna notice there's a channel here this channel is just essentially gonna go onto the bottom of the windscreen so you want to start from one end, just kind of feed it in. So now that we fed it through, all I got to do is chop it here and we're good to go. All right, so now that I've put the weather strip on here, we're going to go ahead and mount it onto the rack. Uh, just notice there is four screws here on the side. Of course, it's on the other side as well. Uh, you just want to go ahead and make sure to mount it correctly. I'm going to mount mine on the bottom two right here. If I do have to adjust it later, I can always just unscrew and move up or move down. doesn't really matter but I'm mounting mine on the bottom too. Now that it's all the way on. <laughs> you're gonna have leftover screws from when you mounted all the other bars. So you're gonna have to use two of those. If you remember, it was a screw, it was a lock washer and a washer. That's what's gonna mount this on. Uh, I'm not gonna kiss this bubble. So now that we've assembled the roof rack, it's still on the floor. You're gonna notice you have a weather strip in here. You're gonna need to remove that. So to do so, you wanna go ahead and either get a flathead screwdriver or, or I would recommend getting a plastic removal tool. Insert, you're gonna notice a small crack. Just pull up and it removes easily. So we're gonna be doing this on both sides. If it's removed, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. But once you've removed your weather seal, you're gonna notice there's these painted strips here. There's one here. There's one in the middle and there's one in the back. You're going to need to remove this because there are holes which is going to mount the roof rack on. Stripping it off just like that with the flat head. Alright, so one down, two more to go. Up next, now that you've removed the little paint that's on top of where the screws are going to mount, of course, you want to do the same exact step to the other side. And then once you've done that, get a Sharpie. You want to just kind of put it side by side, get your Sharpie, and just mark out where your cuts are going to be. So essentially, we are putting some of the weather strip back. We're not putting the whole thing back because we are cutting pieces off. We're going to be mounting the rack on. So once you have your marked lines, you might not be able to see it on camera, but we have Sharpie marks lining up where our cuts are going to be. You can use almost anything. You can use a good pair of scissors. A uh, grinding wheel to just saw right through it or saws all. We just have these. I'm going to line up the blade. Just cut right through. Clean cut. We're going to need this piece. But this middle section that we're cutting out, you don't need. Don't need that, but you need to keep this end piece. Alright, 
perfect. So what you do next, you're getting ready, prepping the roof for the roof rack. What you wanna do is get the silicone. Basically what you wanna do is you just fill it around these holes to help keep your roof waterproof. Don't be afraid to be generous with it because you wanna use a lot just to make sure that you don't end up with a roof leak. Trucks smell like dirty feet. Ugh. You wanna get those too? Then after that step's done, just want to get your spacers that are provided and just squeeze them right over the bolt holes. And you want to do this kind of quickly just before the silicone dries and then you can't really feed your bolts through. So once we've done this side, we're going to go ahead and do the opposite side, same exact steps. All right, and in this section here for all the bolts on the roof, the silver ones, it's, it's gonna be a size up. 10. Keep it even so it's not stressed out in one spot. It's just kind of like just chilling here. Working for Jesse now. We're just basically feeding the bolts into their, into their slots. Get it done before the silicone dries. with these ones it's gonna be the same thing so you're gonna have your bolt your lock washer and your washer just keep that in mind that's for all of them Smile. so now that we mounted the hardware the rack is now secure I still have to screw these screws in a little tighter but before doing so I'm gonna go ahead and put my weather guard back so remember we did cut it so now I'm just gonna to have to put it in the correct slots and we should be good it's super simple to install you just literally slide it over Put some pressure in it. There's the first one. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest. So now that I've securely put all my weather guard back, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. So we put the weather strip back on on both sides. All the silver bolts are bolted in. So I just wanted to mention this. So if you guys remember earlier in the video, I had mentioned this rail, I put it sideways. The only reason why is because I have this antenna here. So of course, if I would have put it straight forward, it would not have fit. Yes, you can put it over here, but I just didn't want a big space back here. It might look funny. So I've already laid everything out. All I have left to do now to finish this install is screw in all the bolts for the crossbars and this install is pretty much done. All right, so in this part right here, you're gonna go ahead and need a star bit. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but you're gonna need one of these to tighten all the bolts on the side of the rail here. So once you've finished that, you're already done with the install. And then I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. And I got some cool shots coming for you guys. All right, so this is for the Curious George people, uh, the ones that wanna know how the bolts are lined up. So this is towards the front. So there's gonna be two bolts right here, one bolt right here. And there's going to be two more bolts back here. And of course, there's some on the opposite side. So two there, one in the middle, and two up front. So it's a really easy install, but it does take two people. Right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Before clicking off this video, if you guys can, please make sure to follow Nate and Chris as they did also help us in the install today. And not only that, I seriously highly would recommend buying these Prinsu racks. Like I had stated in the beginning of the video, I think these are the best looking racks that you could buy on all these trucks, second gen, third gen. Go check them out. The link to them will be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get some B-roll. I don't recommend this, but we just wanted to show you guys. You could even stand on top of your roof. I'm only about 150. Chris is only about 100 pounds, but just letting you know, you can stand on your roof. I don't recommend it, but it's cool to know. Get your print to rack. Description box below. Go purchase. Yeah.
pussy. Huh? Hey! Audacity, man. We're trying Killing to make a YouTube video. He Killing doesn't understand. You, you know, he just doesn't get the movement, you know? I, and it, I understand. Like, it, you know, a lot of people don't understand what it takes to make a YouTube video, what it takes to grow a YouTube channel. You can't make a YouTube video with this kind of noise in the back. A little bit provocative for his viewers. So we can... What? Okay. So, so we're going to stay pretty... We're going to build it. <clears throat> the screen right? goes in this one because I can't reach. Oh, yeah. You want me to? Yeah. Who the fuck signed me up to record? Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, is that Jesse Rizzo? Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me when. Repeat it like three or four times. Just kidding, I'll cut that out. Uh, what else are we gonna need? Keep mold from the leaking oh. in when it rains or when you wash your truck. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, brand names. I just poured my <laughs> all over me. You missed, you missed your mouth? 